welcome back to Dying Light. It's been <coughs> me pushing this button for the past half hour, but I am finally in this goddamn room. I got in there twice. Yeah, fuck you. This is the <laughs> developer's room from one of the original trailers. And the only way to get in here is with the button. New game. Yep, and Baron was very unlucky. Yeah, there's Team Vancouver. There's a lot of paint jobs in here. It's pretty much the only reason to come here. So there's the new Vancouver there's paint job, four. the Ostro paint job. Uh, I know there's another one around here somewhere. <laughs> Team Warsaw. See, these are, yeah, these are all one up on the roof. Yeah, see, these are all hey. the, the tech land guys. Did you get in this room again? Yep. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, there's. Yeah, this is just the developer's room. Don't mess with the H. Don't mess with the hog. Look at, look at that. <clears throat> mm hmm. Bunch of dead zombies. There's a paint job up there. Yeah, I know. The camera. The, the, I think the original trailer was like zombies running in these wheels to power stuff. <laughs> I like the spitter house. Just guts are hanging out of its mouth. Yeah. Yeah, some metal parts, some nails. Oh, crap. Good job. I pushed the motherfucking button. <laughs> ah! So did I, and I'm under the bridge. Oh, uh, it's still one paint job short. Yeah, the one on the roof. Yeah. Okay, once I get to, like... An area that I can drop down and go to like a safe zone to recall my car. I'm doing, I'm doing so. Okay, I'm on top of the damn radio tower again. <sighs> oh, right, we'll be right back. Hey, okay, look. Yeah, I got the grappling here. Shut up. Okay, we're back in this damn room again. Good God. All right, there's the final. Rock Law, whatever the fuck that is. That is the fourth paint job and the last reason to ever come to this room again. Yeah, well, I keep getting put into that room. Yeah, well, now I'm going to push the button on purpose. Okay, I'm in a safe <laughs> zone. Good. I'm not. I'm back on a rock. That's a looking for, pal. Oh, you god damn it, game. Why? I, don't know, I went first. from the rock to under the bridge. I'm trying to get to the, uh. To the what? I'm in the, the electrical tower. I'm trying to get to the, uh, the top of the safe zone so I can recall my car. Show off the paint jobs. Oh. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? Damn it, I'm nowhere near a safe house. Oh, I hear you. Or I heard. Recall vehicle. A crossbow. There's my vehicle. Okay. So, let's show off these mystery paint jobs. Customize. Paint jobs. Okay, so we got Team Aust Ostro, Team Vancouver, Team Warsaw. Team Rock Claw. Yeah, I like Team Vancouver, because Canada paint job. Yeah, boy. Just taking with the Esky. So yeah, that is uh, Tolga's Folly, a.k.a. The Button. Well, oh. question is, is, fuck that button. How do I uh, recall my vehicle? Oh, you gotta go down. You're on the top. You gotta get down to the level with this, the market guy. Ow. Okay. Which is where? Uh, right I there. I found him. Yeah, the, the radio's on a box somewhere. Okay, map. Uh, racing poster, racing poster. 
Uh, it's a safe zone we haven't cleared yet. Racing poster. Get to the cave. Now I have to get down. Oh. Racing poster. Heart of darkness. That's a cave we have to clear. <coughs> racing poster. Racing poster. Racing poster. Racing poster. There's no actual quests anymore. Uh, okay, so let's clear out this safe zone and then we'll just continue on with the main quest, I guess. There's nothing okay. left to do. Ah, oh, God. It was just funny watching you struggle to get into that room. Oh, that was, like, really, really frustrating. Because it took me a half hour just to get into that room and then I had to push the button again by accident. That took another ten minutes to get back into the room again. Oh yeah. Anyway, uh, other places that the button takes you are just random locations around the map. Uh, one of the things I picked up was uh, nuclear codes for the secret third ending. So we'll have to explore that later on. Ow! You got some runners on you. Yeah, I know. They can't catch me though. I'll just run them over. Oh, I just passed the safe zone. Okay, <laughs> before I hit the uh, button by accident, I'm taking it off. My uh, hot mark. Yeah, I already did that. There, he just bled to death. You want to move? <laughs> Not particularly. Just gotta deal with the rest of the zombies. That should be it. Oh, there it goes. I was gonna say, I think we're good. Yeah, it's now a safe zone. Oh, uh, ow. You having fun down there? Oh yeah, I'm making zombies sick. <clears throat> well, I'm here, might as well refuel. Might as well. Okay, uh... Continue aiding the children of the sun, get to the cave. So, this is literally the only thing we can do right now, because everything else is racing posters. God damn, this cave... the cave is far. You go ahead, I gotta fill up my gas tank. Just realized how low I was. Alright. And now you don't really realize till you look over and you're like, oh. Yeah, I have no gas left. Where did all my gas go? We're, I need to get the uh, we're driving. Yeah, I need to get the uh, fuel the fuel efficiency thing up again. I think mine's I think that's the one next. Thing I'm going to do. Yeah, I just picked up the ramming bar, but I do have fuel efficiency one, so I'm a little bit more fuel efficient than regular. Um, I don't have. I don't know. I don't have fuel efficiency yet. Yeah. But I have the ramming bar. I got all the roll cage stuff. Yeah, I need to get the uh, the last upgrade for the body. I just did that, so the next thing I'm putting it into is uh, fuel efficiency. Damn it! I just fell off the bridge. Oh, and there's a demolisher. Yeah, I got past the demolisher by falling off the bridge. It's completely unintentional. I just drove past them. 
Oh. Shit. I hate how the shrubs cover everything up in this game. Yeah. And I'm at the cave. Where's, where's the road that I have to take? Ow! Oh god, so many zombies. Road. Out of the cave, out of the cave. Hi. I missed. Can I repair all my stuff? Yes, I can. Nice. Yeah, you're not gonna get very far driving in there, so... Spray paint SMG. Let's do this shit. Oh, I can search it for eight dollars. <laughs> they're just so running into the fog and they're like, okay, now what do we do? Stupid zombies. That's where I was earlier. I missed. Yes, yes you did. Hey look, this guy's got a button too. Like a DIY grenade. Do it yourself grenade. Yeah. He was sitting beside the guy, so. Yeah, I picked it up too. There's a runner in here somewhere. Was. Actually, how many shotgun shells do I have? Where are they coming from? They're just running out of the bushes. No, these ones came from the uh, alleyway. Zombies just everywhere. Here comes more. I'm just chilling in the mist because mist is safe. I'm just gonna continue to go up. Okay, I'm right behind you. Rifle ammo, grenades, dead guy, military rifle, baseless. That's one of them. Baseless. Okay, second one's dead too, no surprise there. Holy fuck, rises men? Rises, man. That's just great. Remember that dick bag? Yeah. I wonder where this cave actually went. I don't know. I'll just open the door. Empty. Goods are undamaged. All right, then where are they? Are you there? I'm at the cave you mentioned, and I found two of your brothers dead. I also heard a distress call. It mentioned some goods that aren't here. So they were stolen. All right. Please keep investigating. We'll try to gather some information about the third brother. Listen, be on the lookout for orange uniforms, or, or a symbol, three horizontal stripes. Excuse me? The bandits in here, these are Rises thugs. They're worse than the undead. What happened in Haran? That's mostly their fault. Oh, I see. Thank you, Kyle. I'm sure that information will prove useful. 
Another DIY grenade? Holy crap. These guys love their grenades. Oh, that was close. I'll just shoot him with slugs. And you're dead. Okay, uh, continue aiding the children of the sun. There's nothing left to do, I guess, just... Hold on. Skills, uh, I gotta survive a rank up. Splitting car, you know, specialist. Oh, that's a demolisher. Get the hell out of here before something tries to eat me. Oh god, the demolisher just hit me. I'm out. Fuck that shit. Oof. That was a hard landing. I am heading back <laughs> to... Oh! Ow. Crane, we've lost contact with someone working on a specific task for the mother. We would like to ask you to check on him and... Help out if necessary, right? Yes, please. The mother would very much like this man to finish what he started. Okay, who is it? His name is Attila. He's an ethnographer, working in the mother's mansion. It's that big residence at the top of the cliff. God damn it, I was just there. Yeah, this is the house I was telling you about. It's part of the main bus line. Yeah, the one that I kept teleporting to. Yeah, I'm just driving along the train tracks because it's faster. Uh, I've been taking detours. Yeah, I'm just taking the train tracks because it cuts through everything. It just goes right across like, the entire map. It's just easier to get to places. My driving ring's almost up. It's up. Mine's about to be. I'm at like 80% maybe. Maybe 90, I don't know. I just went through a field full of zombies. Yeah, I'm just driving along the back road now, behind the town. Yeah, I just ran square into a boomer. Yeah, well that won't kill you, it'll just kind of piss you off. Because you're blind. No, like I straight up landed on him. Every once in a while, I see, like, these really tall African-American zombies, and I keep thinking they're goons. <laughs> but they're just regular zombies. They're just really tall black guys. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was a cliff. <laughs> you drove off a cliff. But I'm back on all four. God damn it, you stupid boomer. Where on hell's earth am I going? Uh, oh, okay, I just have to cross I'm, the bridge. Uh, I'm gonna wait for you, because there's a demolisher here. <laughs> and it's... Again? Well, it's guarding the gate. Oh. And, like, it's a really cool demolisher, because he's got, like, neon green body armor. So, I'm gonna wait for Oss, and uh, I'm gonna pause the recording here until he gets here, so... I'm almost there, so... I know, I'm still gonna pause it, so I'll be back in a minute. Oh. Hey, and we're back. So, we're gonna go take on this big-ass demolisher now. Okay. Let's kick his ass. Uh, okay, that was a mistake. He's got antlers. Ow. Just took a rock to the face. How'd that feel? It hurt. 
Did he just- Oh, he blew some- Oh, oh yeah. More rocks. <laughs> Shit, no. Want this. <laughs> Super Molotov. That I walked into. Wanna come get me? Uh, you're right next to him, so no. Fine. Well, I got a semi auto shoddy, so. Yeah, so do I. Are you using it? No. No, I'm using my desert camo rifle. <sighs> and super molotovs. <laughs> I'm a mile away. Is the oh wow he's got like a harpoon stuck in him? I don't know what kind of fight he was in before he uh, came here. Someone really pissed him off. Clearly. All right, let's go meet uh, Attila. <laughs> Al, what the fuck was? Sorry that? about that. Was that you? I threw a grenade. By oh my accident. god! I was like, "What is? What just hit me?" <laughs> just random. I thought it was like a landmine or something that I stepped on. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't expect that to hit you. I just saw like this little red I... flash on my screen. I'm like, "Oh shit!" I, hon home. I honestly thought I stepped on a landmine. You do realize I threw that from the other side of the fence, right? Well, that was a very good shot, then. Oh my god. It's uh, locked. Yeah, hold on. There's a door back here. No, can I get on on the roof? What? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, hold on. That was actually a decent throw. Okay, no, there's more highlight over here, so I'm assuming something's over here. Oh, uh, must be underneath. Yeah, there's a cave down here by the looks of it. Oh, right here. God damn. <laughs> At least that was on camera. <laughs> yeah. A wild grenade. Yeah. I was killed by a wild grenade. Which was funny. Oh yeah, no. Cut a well well placed shot, sir, but still it scared the hell out of me. I thought I stepped on a landmine. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect to do... I just thought, okay, I accidentally lobbed a grenade. No, I had no health, so it killed me instantly. Oops. Okay, I can't go through there. You're just destroying all this guy's property. Well... I had to get into here somehow. Yeah. Oh, there's a ceremonial Hold mask on. here. Let me open the door. Ceremonial mask on the desk. Is there anything else? There's a okay, note on the table. That's just creepy. Hold on, let me just ping. No, there's nothing. Upstairs. Oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, no. Is there anything in here? Note on the table. 
Go to the table. Okay. Baklava in the fridge. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Oh, another note on the table. That's one of the doors that was closed. I opened uh, it. There's a note here on the bookshelf. Pfft, Jesus. This guy's got notes everywhere. Oh, I have a skill point apparently. Oh, driving. Reinforced ran. I'm gonna get the reinforced cage. That's what I got. Yeah. Uh, Upstairs! Just search that. There's a wallet. I'm just gonna steal this guy's wallet. Uh, there's a note in the cupboard over here. What? In the cupboard right there. Okay. Uh, what is. Oh, there's a ceremonial mask on the wall. And another one on the wall. What? On the wall next to the bed on both sides. Oh, shit. Uh, Those didn't ping when I had uh, done it earlier, so. Nothing in the bathroom. Oh! Found them. Fine. Okay. Put the ahead. note in here. Uh, there's a note in here. Just the one Where? note. Oh. Where's the other note? Oh, it's on right the here. On the table. Uh, that's everything, I guess. Let's talk to Have Attila. You come to kill oh, me? no. Oh, oh shit. Crane, the mother's worried about you, Attila. She sent me to check on you. There's another note on okay. the uh, radio. I am most yeah, we'll certainly get it not okay. You can tell her that there will be no book. I've hit a wall. I'm just a dying old man, not Indiana Jones. Dying? Did there we you, go. Did you ask the mother for help? She doesn't have the cure for cancer, I'm afraid. My days of field work are over. The problem is, and I'll quote Hamlet here, everything is fucked up. Come, sit. Have a drink with me, Mr. Crane. Up. Listen, if it's the field work that's stopping you, just... I can go out and get whatever you need. I don't know what you're researching, but the mother really wants it finished. Hmm. You'll bring me anything I need, you say? Oh, great. Sure, just make a list. It would certainly help if my electricity were restored. If I'm going to do this, I'll be looking at some very long nights. Well... I can take care of the power, but you're on your own for coffee. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I see a note. Alright, so we have to go fix the cables and restore Attila's power. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, because this is I a really dark house. The... I just have to remember where the front door was. Oh, there's multiple doors. <laughs> Alright. Let's let's not throw a grenade again. Yeah, don't do that, please. Uh, so we have to follow the power cables. I already know where it leads. I know, but there's breaks in the cables that you have to fix. Oh. Uh, uh, why am I carrying a brick? Hmm. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, okay. I guess Through we have to start at this end. I found the break. Found one of the brakes. Yeah, I was in the room. Okay, well, it's still not letting me turn on the power, so there must be more brakes. Where's the. Okay, there's the cable. Goes down. Oh, there's a roof there, that's why. Uh, oh, here's another brake. Apparently, duct tape fixes everything. Mm hmm. Okay, so that's that done. So let's restore the power. There 
step one. Oh, you already did the other one on top of the water tower? Yeah. Okay. And the last one was the generator in the, uh, in the storehouse? Yep. Sweet. Let's go talk to Attila again. Well, I jumped up onto the water tower just to see if there was, uh... Well, there was a fuse box up there, but it didn't activate until after we'd fixed all the cables. The house is still dark. Yeah, it's because he lights everything with candles. Get your electricity back, Attila. Now what? Now we can get to work, Mr. Crane. I'm researching traces of the prophecy about the god of the sun in the relics of local culture. It seems like a matter of life and death to the mother. And I'm in no position to ask why. So, now we have three ancient monoliths to investigate. We're looking for specific features, so you'll need to see them in person and describe each one to me. Now that I have the power back on, we can stay in touch while you're out there. But please hurry, Mr. Crane. I won't live forever. Sure you will. You'll live forever. Oh, uh, God. Give me, like, two seconds. Just need to check something real quick. Welcome back to dying. I really wish we could open this gate. Okay, that's two minutes. Okay, so we've got. Okay, no, we're gonna have to call it here because all the episodes added up that have been paused are uh, up to the wrapping up point so we'll have to continue this next time boo yay boo alright so thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next week later